hello guys and welcome back so since as our whole game is now completed now the last thing which is remaining is the cutscenes so from this video onwards i will explain you how you can create your own cutscenes so for the cutscenes right here in the assets folder let's create a new folder by the name of cutscenes assets now inside this cutscenes assets Go ahead and download this .winrar file and then extract it wherever you want. It will give you this folder, okay? Then just simply drag and drop this folder inside the cutscene assets. And if you open this up, okay, if you click on it, these are all the animations which we will be needing for our cutscene, okay? If you want to create your cutscenes in a different way, then first of all, I'll learn from my lectures okay and when you be able to create your own then you can use your own animations on characters and whatever you want to do with it then okay and let me tell you that these animations are for are from the miximo.com website okay so make sure to check that website and download these animation but if you don't want to search for them then just simply download the file which i am providing and once you click on it okay click on the rig as you can see this is humanoid and if you click on animation this is the animation and let's see the preview right here okay these are all of the animations as you can see so now let's go ahead and click on the starter assets then environment one town constructor let's go inside the scene and if we play the game as you can see it will give you this error okay so if you double click on it it will simply open up the player script and what we need to do right here is just for now let's comment this code out okay and if you get back to unity as you can see the error is gone now and if you play the game our game will be running perfectly fine okay for now we are just testing the game so we don't want that whenever we play the game we will be playing it from the main menu okay we just want to test the game so we need to be right here on this town scene automatically okay so remove that and now we are ready to create our cutscene so in the cutscene assets folder let's click on create and right here you will find this timeline so just click on that timeline and let's name this as cutscene then after that drag and drop it in here and if you check it in the scene view let's get back to the 2d mode as you can see there is our cutscene okay let me turn off the gizmos so it doesn't show that error again and again so now as you can see this is our cutscene okay what we will do with it is just simply drag and drop that from there to this point right here okay make sure that you drag and drop it to this point because as you can see right here we will start our game okay so the first cutscene will be right here okay so make sure that you move your cutscene like that and then let's click on player then player character then click on travel then inside the source folder this is our player character okay so we can just simply drag and drop him right here okay and move it down below below this cutscene okay then click on prefab unpack completely let's open this up remove the camera camera one as well and remove the lights and now as you can see this is our character and with this now let's go ahead and add the materials to this okay so this will be the hair materials then these are the travel hands then travel pants then this is the shirt this will be the shoes and for the face we will add that then in there drag and drop that and now as you can see Trevor is looking perfectly fine okay make sure that you create another player character okay our first 
player character is this one okay this is for playing the game and this character will be just for our cutscene okay so now as you can see he is all ready up this video is going to be a little bit lengthy so just follow me step by step okay so then you will be able to understand and know how to create your own cutscene so as you can see this travel character has the animator and if you check the source okay click on it click on rig as you can see this is humanoid and the animations which we added in our cutscene okay these are humanoid as well so now if we select any of the animation and drag and drop our Trevor, okay our normal Trevor, as you can see the animation work on this Trevor perfectly fine okay now let's name this as player cutscene that is it now with this player added now let's add the rebels which will come from this position and try to rob the Trevor okay so for that if you go in here I mean in the prefabs folder then rebels okay and then from the rebels you can select any rebel you want okay for example I will use this rebel okay and with this rebel we will be adding another one as well for example this one okay so these two will be the rebels which will come and rob our player okay so just drag and drop them right there as well click on prefab unpack completely that is it and then select both of the rebels and rotate them on 180 like that okay and as you know that these rebels are also set to humanoid so now if we go ahead in the cutscene assets animations and now if we drag and drop any of the rebel as you can see the animation works perfectly fine okay so now we have added our player and also the rebels as well now in the next video we will create our whole cutscene okay so i will see you guys in the next one